After many months of restrictions on travel, domestic flights are set to commence at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport and the Muritala Mohammed Airport in Lagos today. The Port Harcourt, Oweri and Maiduguri airports will begin operations on the 11th of uh, this month, while flights will resume in other airports across the country on the 15th. Now, passengers are advised to follow all safety guidelines and protocols put in place to ensure that the airports do not become channels for the spread of coronavirus. Joining us now on Skype is Olumide Ohuayo, uh, the aviation, he's an aviation expert. Also joining us live from the domestic wing of Namdi Azikiwe International Airport is TVC News correspondent Lara Afolayo. It's nice to have you both join us right now, Olumide and Lara. But Olumide, let me start with you right now. Okay, let me start with Lara, rather. Uh, we, Lara, you are at the airport. Can you tell us what you can see so far? Everyone has been looking forward to uh, the flight resuming today. What have you noticed? All right. It, it seems we can't hear uh, Lara right now. Uh, but let, let's switch over to Olumide. Olumide, if you can hear me this morning, everyone has been looking forward to today. And here it is. What is your observation when it comes to the level of preparation? And all of there were simulations, there were preparation, there were build up to uh, uh, the flight resuming today. How satisfied are you with all of the preparations put together? morning very very satisfied the industry woke up woke up a bit late uh, to uh, the, uh, the that's why we to resume uh, sometime last month when we were given clearance by the PTA. but um, as of last night all the all the all the gaps were closed uh, and then um, those that are ready to start will start talking about five airlines today um aro uh is that uh as man but the five schedule uh, operations that, uh, that we start. And almost all the, the, uh, the airports that are uh, kick off these operations are of, uh, both about scored above 90%, which is, uh, which is safety and uh, uh, mark, safety mark are out. In, uh, in, uh, so we, we, are, we are ready to go and uh, we're just waiting for the passengers. And, like, uh, and from the feelings that uh, we're getting from the booking engines of the, some of the airlines, they've already scored close about 7 to 80% of their bookings already. So are you saying that um, the guidelines put in place will definitely ensure that uh, the government is able to flatten the curve and there is no spread of the virus and it will be effective? Oh, definitely. Flattening the curve, uh, flat, uh, flattening the curve is not, uh, is not uh, uh, the responsibility of the aviation industry uh, alone. It's the responsibility of the, uh, all sectors of the, of the country and uh, most uh, uh, Especially the government, the state government, how they can handle the the, 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 the issue. But for the for the provision industry, yes, we have done everything possible to assist the government and assist from Nigeria in flattening the curve. And uh, we have put all those procedures in place from the from the PPE to mask and from the from the mask to sanitizer and social distancing. All have been put in place. We you know that yesterday now we now have the uh, reserve the last row of seat for isolation on board in case we have any emergency or that anyone is noticed to show any symptoms. So we, we, the, the industry is, is ready. Uh, what else we have been alleged to be the one that uh, the industry has been alleged to have, to have been the spreader of the, of, the, of the virus initially. Today, I can tell you of all the modes of transportation, we have the safest. All right. Now, from, from the reports we're getting, the, the fares of the ticket, the cost of flight is going to increase and shoot up. Uh, talk to us, basically, how is this going to impact uh, the way that people are going to still use uh, the air as a mode of transport. Well, the, the, the the price of the, the price of the of the ticket has shut up, and uh, if you also know that all all that most mode of transportation transportation to uh, the price the price is also shut up. So it's not only really that really does that went up. Uh, you will expect natural with natural economics, the higher the price, the lower the demand. That's expected, but I think the, the lower we will see him, the demand we will see it will just be for the leisure travelers. The, the, the business travelers would have. Remember that the country uh, shut down uh, suddenly, and um, people were not prepared. So somewhere, those as we are bringing evacuees from uh, outside the country, we have to start. People will start returning to their different homes and business from where they were, where they, they, 
they found themselves before the shutdown. So you expect some initial uh, uh, bookings and travels, people trying to return to the base, uh, businesses trying to quickly connect uh, some uh, the, 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 the dots together. So we have this initial demand, and, uh, uh, and uh, like you said, the price has gone is, is a bit higher now. You're looking at uh, looking about forty to fifty thousand uh, the list ticket, which was uh, compared to when you have it about twenty something. Uh, before the shutdown, maybe 27, 28, you could get someone, but now you're looking at about 43,000. So it has, it has shut up. All right. Uh, Olivier, okay. if you could just hold your thoughts for a minute. We have our correspondent, Lara Folayo, at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. Talk to us now, activities going on at the airport. What is the mood like, especially when you look at uh, traffic of uh, passengers coming to the airport? <coughs> Activities resumed earlier today at the airport. Airpiece landed earlier at about 7.45 a.m. And right now, passengers on that same flight back to Lagos are being screened. They are to leave Abuja at about 8.30 or thereabout. ARIC air passengers are also being screened now. The, flight, um, the ARIC flight to Lagos is leaving at about 9.15 a.m. So far, passengers have been coming in in their numbers. Though the passenger turnout is low, um, it's not like the usual kind of passenger traffic you have on normal days here, but the passengers have been abiding by these safety protocols. They get to wash their hands as soon as they arrive, they sanitize, they get their temperatures checked, and they also stand on the queue observing the physical distancing measure that has been put in place, which is the foot markings on the ground where they have to stand about 1.5 meters apart from one another. So far, so good. Everything is going on fine as regards the safety protocols in place here at the airport. The only thing I noticed is that the normal business activity you have here seems not to have picked up. Normally you have all kinds, people selling all kinds of things, you know. I've not seen um, those people here. And I asked why that um, was happening and I was told that they are yet to come, that it wasn't like they were told to stay away because of the health risks that could be um, in this um, particular area. And um, so far everything looks, it's going on fine, except that I noticed that the passenger turnout and the usual um, boisterousness that characterizes this place is yet to take full effect. All right, Lara, let me stay with you on this. The, the Minister of Aviation had announced earlier that uh, no two airlines will fly at the same time. It, it, from what you noticed, is, is that the case? Is that what happened? Uh, and how are people coping with that? Well, maybe not fly at the same, maybe not take off at the same time. Well, from what I understand here today, two airlines are operating right now. Airpiece um, arrived earlier and it will soon be taking off back to Lagos. And ARIC will be leaving um, in about an hour from now back um, to Lagos. It has three flights today. There's one in the morning, there's one in the afternoon, and one, one in the evening at about 6 p.m. or thereabout. All right, Lara, did you speak with any passenger on perhaps uh, what their expectations are, especially those that are going to uh, take on the flight or those that were coming in, uh, what it was like for them, you know, taking the flights now after a long time? Of course, the passengers I spoke with are actually concerned about um, COVID and they do not want to contract it while on board. But they say so far they are happy with the safety protocols that have been put in place. They are happy that um, their other passengers like them are also complying you know, with these protocols. So far, they seem okay with the arrangement. All right. Uh, thank you, Lara. Uh, we'll bring back uh, Olumide now. Uh, Olumide, if you can hear us, our correspondent just told us about... Uh, Flights taking off uh, 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 the Abuja Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, and uh, a lot of expectations from passengers and also concerns. We would like for you to react to uh, developments from the airport. Well, uh, let me start with the uh, with, with, uh, with, with the question you put on to Lola there concerning uh, 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 airlines having to take their turn uh, in boarding of passengers. I think that would not be the problem of the passenger because when you at the time you're buying your ticket, you have been told the time your flight is departing. I think it's just for the airline now who feel that uh, one or one airline will be given an advantage over the other to determine with the slot allocation. And I, remember, I think the airline should understand that uh, it's a temporary measure just to start the process, see how they can manage the distancing, uh, the physical uh, 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 distancing uh, of passengers at the, at the airport at boarding, at boarding gate. Uh, and with time, we'll, we'll probably be able to now see how uh, the airlines could uh, operate even if it's at the same time keeping the same rules in place. And for for for, for me, you expect that the, the, the uh, passengers that will come into the 
there'll be that initial fear trepidation that there's so much news about uh, the operation starting and all the issues concerning the pandemic and how the aviation industries are synonymous with spreading the so you be spreading the, the the virus so you expect passengers to come in with the, come to the airport looking um, uh, with some tre trepidation and uh, but being very cautious, but then the, 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 the ship rest assured that right from the moment you step out of your of your vehicle, you know, the, the process starts. Uh, now, you know, now you cannot come with any of those aids and uh, uh, family and friends anymore. They, all they can do is uh, maybe drop you over and, 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 they, and they move. And then once you get to the to the, to the, to the, to the airport, the sanitation process starts. Disinfecting uh, of um, you know, your shoes bag. And you, you get you get in and there. Also, you you have your sanitizer, your mask on, all with both on 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 the airport and on board the aircraft. Now, when the COVID nineteen uh, started, uh, aviation industry was said to be the worst hit, especially financially. Now mm. that uh, domestic flights have resumed in Nigeria, how much uh, will this impact uh, the finances of the industry, especially looking at the fact that? The industry is asking the government for a five billion naira intervention fund. Well, um, the, the, there's no, there's, it's not, there's no hiding it now. The industry is the hardest hit, and uh, this is the worst uh, uh, hit that has come to the industry. You know, we, we've been through the 9 11, the, the SARS, and the financial meltdown, but the COVID 19 is the worst. And, uh, uh, we, we, the industry is on its knees. We, 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 we still, we, we, as we start, like you said, we we just expect some little revenue to trickle in to keep the system running. Definitely not for profitability or to break even. But what what, what the industry will do? The, the industry will do what it needs to do because the problem for the industry right now is the palliative and support from the government, which is which are, which we have seen in other clients. I expect that government to also do the same for the industry. Yeah, but, but staying in from the question she asked earlier on, is it likely that there's going to be uh, some bailouts again from the government to the airlines, for especially domestic airlines? Yeah, but this time around, it will be, be different from uh, what was obtained in the past. Uh, yes, we expect some palliatives uh, from, from, from the government to the central bank, and not only for the airlines, all other uh, agencies and uh, service providers in the industry. It's, it's an all encompassing um, palliative for the industry, all the industries that are there wouldn't be job losses invariably in the long term. Is that what you're saying? That's inevitable. Job loss is inevitable. Uh, with or without the palliatives. The losses have started even before the palliative. I remember the industry was already had some troubles and uh, getting 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 to the black before. Before the, before the COVID, and COVID are just worsening the whole thing. So, but the job losses will definitely, what, what the policy will only do is uh, stopping the total collapse of the industry. But definitely, for, for job losses, that's negative. All right. Now, Olumide, let me ask this question. The point is uh, today that the flights are resuming, it seems everything is going to be wonderful with everybody in high spirits. But one week, one month, few months, six months down the line. How concerned are you that, or how likely is it that this, the standards of what is going on today will be maintained down the line, months after today? <clears throat> Same fears I have here, like I just uh, posited here. Um, do you, how, do we, how are we going to be able to sustain uh, all the... All, all the uh, 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 Stops put put in place to ensure that uh, passengers are, are not infected. That we continue with uh, uh, keeping the fiscal distance and all other recommendations of the World Health Organization, ICAO, IATA, and even our own NCA. So it it, it it boils down to our ability, the ability of the regulators and the government to ensure that those standards are sustained. I am happy with the with with, with uh, asking non-traveling passengers of getting into the airport. But how long are we going to do that? Because you have organizations, companies that uh, you've, um, you have rented these uh, uh, airports used for facilities that are supposed to uh, allow that will only be viable when you have people within the airport uh, um, uh, premises. So there must be some balance to see that when, as we are trying to keep some safe um, uh, and healthy standards, we also have to look at other other businesses within the airport how they can survive and manage and, and, and manage it. I, I think in, in the long run. 
will just act at uh, with what is happening around the world. Once the world begins to open up and lower those standards, of course, we will also follow it in Nigeria. But for now, we we'll have to join the world, the rest of the world. If we're in the standard that I've said that, you must keep this distance. You must have your mask on, you must sanitize, and your crew must have the PPE on. I will not have some missile body aircraft. All right, I still talking uh, the sustainability. Uh, do you have concerns with regards to passengers perhaps taking responsibility with regards to uh, the use of face masks and other precautionary measures and what the impact might be? Well, the, the, we, well, the, the president does not have a choice now because it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a law now that has been imposed by the regulators and almost all the airlines. So what, what the airlines, 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 the airlines, the airlines, the airports, owners are saying that before you step into any part of my, any, 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 any part of the building, in the aircraft, or within the visit of the airship, you must have your, your, your face mask on. It's not, it's, not, it's not an option. It's mandatory. Then you must also have, your, you must always use the sanitizer uh, provided and it also be taken. You know, the person do not have a choice that to comply. All right. Uh, Olumide Ohuayo, thank you so much for speaking with us.